Lesson 9 Homework Number 1. Jeffrey bought 203 sheets of stickers. Each sheet had a dozen stickers. He gave away 907 stickers to his family and friends on Valentine's Day. How many stickers does Jeffrey have remaining? So if he bought 203 sheets of stickers and each sheet had a dozen stickers, one dozen is 12. So 203 with 12 on each sheet. We're going to need to do 203 times 12, and that'll tell us how many stickers he started out with. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 2 is 4. Done with the 2. Put 0 as my placeholder. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2. Add everything together. So he started out with 2,436 stickers, but he gave away 907. So to figure out how much he has left, have left or have remaining as the keyword for subtraction. So we're going to do 2,436 minus 907. Now, 6 times minus 7 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 3, make it a 2. 16 minus 7 is 9. 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 9, we can't do that again. So I'm going to borrow, make that 14 minus 9 is 5, and then we have 1. So he had 1,529 stickers remaining. Number 2. During the 2011 season, a quarterback passed for 302 yards per game. He played in all 16 regular season games that year. How many total yards did the quarterback pass? So 302 yards in every single game for 16 games. So 302 times 16. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 6 times 3 is 18. Get rid of what I've carried so I don't get confused later on. Add my 0. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 3 is 3. If I add those together, I get 4,832 yards. If he matches this passing total for the next 13 seasons, how many yards will he pass in his career? So for the next 13 seasons, he's also going to pass for 4,832 yards. So this is just one season. And if he does it for 13 more seasons, that will be a total of 14 seasons. So really what we want to do is 4,832 times 14 seasons. And that'll tell us his entire pass yards for his whole career. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 1 is 33, carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Done with the 4, on to the 1. I'll erase what I've carried. Put my 0 down. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4. Add everything together. we get 67,648 total yards in his career. Number three. Val saved $179 a month. He saved $145 less than Ada each month. How much would Ada save in three and a half years? So he's saving 179 a month which is 145 dollars less than ada which means ada is saving 145 dollars more so to figure out how much ada is saving per month i'm going to add 179 plus 145 9 plus 5 is 14 carry the 1 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 4 is 12 carry the 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. so ada is saving 324 dollars a month and it wants to know how much she would save in three and a half years. Let's, since this is talking months, let's figure out how many months is in three and a half years. 
So three years, there's 12 months in each year. So three times 12 is 36 plus the half year, a half year is six months. 36 plus six is 42 months. So what we need to do is 324 times 42 months. So we'll start with the two. Two times four is eight. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. On to the four, put our zero down. Four times four is 16, carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. Four times three is 12. Eight plus zero is eight. Four plus six is 10, carry the one. 1 plus 6 plus 9 is 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, and we have 1. So she saves $13,608 over that three and a half year period. Number four, Mrs. Williams is knitting a blanket for her newborn granddaughter. The blanket is two and 25 hundredths meters long and one and eight tenths meters wide. What is the area of the blanket? Write your answer in centimeters. So we're finding the area of a blanket that is two and 25 hundredths meters long and one and eight tenths. And to find area, what we do is multiply. But, and it wants us to find the answer in centimeters. So let's go ahead and switch everything to centimeters. Do you remember our King Henry chart from a long time ago? Back in lesson, back to module one. So it was King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. And if the U stands for meters, liters, and grams, and here's our centimeters. So I'm going to put two and 25 hundredths meters in here, and we're moving it one, two places to the right. So the decimal point moves 200, two places to the right, which makes this 225 centimeters. So this is gonna be 225 centimeters and one and eight tenths meters. Also, we're moving two places to the right to get centimeters. So I'm gonna move it one, two places, put our zero in as a placeholder. So this becomes 180 centimeters. And now we can find the area by multiplying 225 times 180. So zero times five is zero, zero, and zero. Put our zero down for our placeholder. Eight times five is 40, carry the four. Eight times two is 16, plus four is 20, carry the two. Eight times two is 16, plus two is 18. We're done with the two and the four. I'm gonna put two zeros down onto the one. One times five is five. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. If we add it all together, we get 40,500 centimeters squared because we're talking about area. Number five, use the chart to solve. Write an expression to find the difference in the maximum area and the minimum area of a New York State high school soccer field. Then evaluate your expression. So we have a, f a chart of soccer field dimensions, and the first question is asking about the New York State High School, so we're going to be using this part of the chart. Um, we'll get to the other part later. So it wants us to write an expression to find the difference, so we're going to be subtracting the difference of the maximum area and the minimum area. So area, remember, is length times width. So we need to find the maximum area, so the maximum length is 120, and the maximum width is 80. So we're gonna start with 120 times 80. So that'll give us the maximum area. And then we wanna find the difference, so we're gonna subtract the minimum area. So the minimum length is 100, and the minimum width is 55. So minus 100 times 55. So there's our expression. And then it says evaluate your expression. So 120 times 80, well 12 times eight is 96 with two zeros, so 9,600 minus 100 times 55 would be 5,500. 
and if we subtract those we get 4,100 square yards. Part B, would a field with the width of 75 yards and an area of 7,500 square yards be within FIFA regulations? So now we're looking at the other side of the chart because I was talking about FIFA. So 75 yards a width, let's see if that would work. Um, so the width has to be between 70 and 80. So a width of 75 would work. But what we need to know is 75 times what is equal to 7,500? Well, that would be 75 times 100 is equal to 7,500. Now we need to see, does 100 fit within the regulation? So here you can see that the minimum is 110 and the maximum is 120. So 100 does not fit within those regulations. So this would be no, because the length is too small. And C, it costs $26 to fertilize, water, mow, and maintain each square yard in a full-size FIFA field with maximum dimensions before each game. How much will it cost to prepare the field for next week's match? So first let's figure out the area of a FIFA field with maximum dimensions. So the maximum length is 120 and the max maximum width is 80. So 120 times 80 is equal to 9,600 yards square yards and it cost $26 to fertilize each of those. So we need to multiply and let's start with the 6. So 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3, 6 times 9 is 54, plus 3 is 57, I'll erase what I carried and put a 0 down. We're done with the 6. Now starting with the 2 in the tens place. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19. If we add everything together, we should get $249,600 is what it would cost to maintain.